for, for spearfish. Yeah, not as safe, but just when you get a lot of fish. A lot of fish coming out. Oh. Uh, Popongi, uh, ke konei mātou ke te arau te akau. Um, this morning we're about to head out um, and clean some coral. So that's our mission uh, this morning. None of us, any of you done it before? No, uh, not me, first time, first time. So this is one of the projects that hasn't been done in the Cook Islands. This is the first one. So I hope uh, these guys enjoy I hope this is a, an eye-opener for everybody really. I mean, what we're doing to our planet global warming and all that, corals are dying. So we're trying to put back to Mother Nature what we took from it, uh, rebuild. I'm pretty sure it's a part of us, uh, human nature, being a part of the environment. So um, I hope everybody else takes on board this idea. We hope to hear that uh, other people are starting this project in their respective islands or even countries. Yep. That's pretty much it. Mm. Yeah, enjoy the enjoy your visit there, guys. Itirangi nei kai konei mātou ki te taha o te ara o te ākau. Te tahi rōpū e ngākau nui ana ki ngā mahi whakarauora i te oranga o te moana. So, my name is Alex King. I'm a photographer, storyteller in Rarotonga. And I am also the founder of Te Ara o Te Ākau, which is a coral restoration uh, NGO. And then we've got uh, all these little brushes here. Those are cleaning the frames. <laughs> so they're, um, what we don't do is we don't touch the coral. We don't clean the coral. Um, we just clean around it. So basically any algae or anything like that, we just basically take that off. Um, so it doesn't suffocate the coral. Yeah. We've basically started this coral restoration program uh, project about a year ago now. Um, we've got one coral nursery in the lagoon in um, the south side of Rarotonga and that's been in there for about eight months and basically the work that we're trying to do is we're just basically trying to help restore or regenerate parts of our reef in our lagoon um, for many different reasons but ultimately our coral reef is degrading. It's, there's a lot of our coral in the lagoon that's starting to disappear. And then as well, in extension to that, our reef fish is disappearing as well. So basically if it's, it could be like overfishing, it could be pollution, uh, climate change um, and yeah so we spend basically every day in this space uh, we're trying to find a way that we can sort of give back to it and so that's why we, our team, a group of young locals uh, got together to do this project. Basically, in order for the coral to grow, it has to be fully like secured and attached to something. So you can attach it to a rock, or you can, you know, you can use like um, sort of like marine cement or epoxy to actually put coral into rocks and just cement them there, and they'll start growing. So, but if they're loose, they won't grow, and they'll probably end up dying. So usually, when we go out and we collect corals of opportunity, which is like loose or broken fragments sort of lying on the lagoon, lagoon floor. We collect those and then we basically tie them onto the frames um, on the rebar using cable ties, which is pretty much the, the strongest method that we've been able to use um, and test. And so these have worked really well. And so now the coral that is out there, they're already starting to encrust and grow over the frames because of that, because they're being secured onto the frames. Yeah.
We use two different kinds of brushes, one bigger one for the general area where there's no coral and then a smaller brush for uh, the tighter spaces around the coral. We've definitely seen more of an increase in different uh, species. Yeah, we've been catching a lot of different fish, like the stonefish. Some eels have popped up. Just today, yeah, we saw a pretty big flounder. But for bigger changes that we want to see, that'll take a little bit more time. But what we're seeing is still really good for the short amount of time that we've been here in this space. Yeah. yeah. But, um, when we, we're looking at setting up our next nursery, which is going to be a lot bigger and there's going to be a lot more different types of structures. Um, so we're looking at using mesh tables, uh, more pyramid frames and also a rope structure, a floating structure, which we actually hang the corals from. So um, there's all different types of species of coral and then they can't all grow on the same type of structure. How's that kill? Cool. Cool. That was absolutely insane, eh? Fizz was pretty pretty mean. Um, puffer fish, biggest puffer fish I've probably ever seen. It was maybe yay big, maybe a bit bigger. But it's pea, pea, pea. And mahoki on aika. There's heaps of fish. And um, there was a big ass cave with Koda in it as well, but I didn't go in there. Mm. Uh, because we as locals, you know, we're, we're constantly living in this space and we use the ocean every day. And so it's kind of for us, it's like in what way can we give back to this? And um, this is one of those ways. The role that our coral reef plays is, is super important. It's, it's super important when it comes to, you know, um, our livelihoods, so our jobs, um, our food, you know, our kaimoana. It does a lot of things for us, so we really, it's our responsibility to sort of give back to that. And so that's, that's really a big part of why we are doing coral restoration. Ka pai kata no mate ka u mai ki uta, um, a tāhua, a manea, a ngā oh, te huariri i wahora. Um, tā mātou mahi matua e horo i ngā kāua, uh, i te koro, um, en te ahu nei ora pai ana i tēnei wā. Uh, I puta hoki mātou ki te ara o Pāpua, um, i tētahi o ngā ara i u mai ngā waka ki tēnei tōpito o te mautere o Rarotonga, um, en yeah, nui ngā ika, ngā honu, um, yeah, me te oranga o um, yeah, te moana i tēnei tōpito o te motu. Te, me te. <laughs>